Well, about an hour and 20 minutes worth of a rain delay here at Kauffman Stadium as the Dodgers will try to put away yet another series win. This guy, the left-hander, Daniel Lynch. Well, Daniel Lynch gets the ball this evening. You see the record one and three. ERA, though, very respectable, 3.96. Well, here's Mookie Betts, who has nine leadoff home runs this year. Low and inside ball four. The way Betts has been going these days, Giving him a walk is containing him. Two down after the leadoff walk to Mookie Betts. So here's J.D. Martinez. Rope to left center field. That's a base hit. Mookie Betts screaming into third. And the Dodgers have runners at the corners here in the first inning. Now Miguel Vargas at the plate. On the ground to third. Garcia charging. He is outstanding over there. And he finishes the Dodgers. Here in the first inning, the 26-year-old Julio Urias, who is back for the Dodgers. He hasn't had the year that he would have liked. He's coming off a hamstring issue. And to Michael Garcia, who had three hits in yesterday's game, three for four. Line to right field and well struck. That's a hit. Betts can't cut it off. It's past him. And it's two bases for Garcia without a helmet in the end. But here is Bobby Witt Jr., 23 years old. First base side, this is a tough play for everybody, and it's down for a hit. Garcia to third, Freeman didn't have any chance. Mookie Betts was the closest to it, really. But what can you do when it's just lobbed in there as well as it was? And now Salvador Perez trying to break an 0 for 20 tonight. Here goes the runner from first. This is in the air, right field side, hanging up there, and finally down again. The Royals on parachute after parachute have dropped into a 1-0 lead. And Salvi uses gravity to break it 0 for 20. Royals are really working him over here in the first inning. It's now fouled off six consecutive pitches. Three and two. He missed outside. Good use of the timeout by Prado. It loads the bases. So Olivares digs in with the bases loaded. One to nothing Royals. This one two is popped up behind second base and playable for Vargas. They're going to test him coming home. Save Bobby Witt Jr. with wings on his feet. Gives Kansas City a two nothing lead. That is a hit by pitch and the hopscotch begins for Duffy on the way to first base. They are loaded for Taylor four hits in 27 at bats as this is sky to right field. Betts is back on it. He's camped. He makes the catch. Salvi's coming home. The throw does not get him. Salvador Perez might have hurt himself but he went all prefontaine coming from third and behind the play. Prado and Duffy advance as well. That's great base running by the Royals. Second and third, two out, three in. 32 pitches now, Urias. This is popped up, short right center field again, and down. Outman broke back, then had to come in, and the Royals are piling on. So the nightmare for Urias has become real. And that is strike three to end the inning. It was worth the wait for the Royals fans. Lynch's second walk of the game. One out, one on. Outman coming up here in the second. Three and two for the 26-year-old Outman. And this is on the ground and through. DeLuca hoofs it for third, and the Dodgers have runners at the corners. Yanni Hernandez coming up. Switch hitter batting from the right-hand side. Three and two. Line drive. Base hit from the nine-hitter Hernandez. The Dodgers are on the board. The RBI double for Yanni Hernandez. And it'll be second and third with just one out. Mookie Betts has worn out the Royals in a Red Sox uniform and a Dodgers uniform. This ball he hits well to center field. Waters is back on it and he is underneath to make the catch. Sacrifice fly night continues at Kauffman Stadium and it's five to two. Yanni Hernandez is at third. Freeman struck out swinging in his first half. In the center. That's a base hit. Freddie Freeman got ahead in the count and pulverized a 3-1 pitch. It's 5-3. After Kansas City scored five in the bottom half of the first, the Dodgers respond with three in the top of the second. So back-to-back -back singles. So Arias really isn't fooling anybody. Now Salvador Perez up there. There go the runners. Throw down to third is in time. They say he's out. Garcia thinks he's safe. We talked about the aggressiveness of this Royals ball club. 
two youngsters trying to execute a double steal. Looks like he got in there, right? Ooh, I would challenge that if I were them. That? No, they are not. So Will Smith gets himself a caught stealing. That's strike three on the inside corner. Rios picked off the inside third and struck out Prado. Freddie Freeman one for two. Two out. Left side, well struck. Witt Jr. up to throw. He aced him. What a play by Bobby Witt Jr. A dazzling dive to his right out of the shallow left field grass. And a strong throw to first to end the inning. So Arias three innings, six hits, the five earned runs from the first inning. Now Phil Bickford, ball strike three on the outside corner, and that will end the inning. Bickford perfect in his first inning of relief. Through four. Daniel Lynch has really settled down, retired the last six hitters that he's faced. This one gets by Garcia at third. He was a little bit flat-footed. And so Vargas into second base, and we'll see if that does end the night for Lynch. Daniel tries to get one more out in this performance tonight. To shortstop. Bobby Witt Jr. secures it and throws out Rojas. Daniel Lynch steadied his footing after the second and may likely leave with the lead. First pitch to Blanco. Fastball hit on the ground toward first. Freeman makes a backhand stab. Underhand toss to Brazier covering. He dropped the ball. And Blanco safe at first. It was in his glove for a half second and then scored it right out. And the Royals have their first base runner since the third inning. Runner goes, throw it on to second base, is wide. Blanco swipes second. Blanco got a running start here. He had a good step or two before Brazier even delivered the ball. Uh, for insurance, how much of a risk are you? Well, how much risk can we take as a team? There he goes again, and they can take a lot of risk because they need extra bases. There it is again. He reached on an error, stole second, stole third. His fourth stolen base of the year. Now Bobby Witt Jr. Center field. Outman pushed back, and here comes Blanco. Another sacrifice fly for the Royals. That's the third tonight. And it happens because of the steals from Blanco. Muncie is on, and we'll see, to your point, starts to move the gears for the Dodgers on the way to a rally here in the eighth or ninth. That's a base hit into right center. Muncie for third. Runners at the corners with one out in the eighth. And the Dodgers have something going. And here's James Outman. Ground ball slowly hit to first. Prado underhanded flip to first. Too late. Prado was looking home for Lord knows what reason. Muncie to come in to score. And then when he realized, oh, too late there, he tried to throw to first Clark covering, and it was simply too late. And the Dodgers get a run and still have two on and look out. Looks like the closer, Scott Barlow, is coming in for Kansas City. Two on, two out. Mookie Betts approaches. Three and two to Betts. Inside, he walked him. The Dodgers have loaded the bases, and Freddie Freeman Lou. And with runners in scoring position, 359 this year. On the ground, second base. Duffy is there, and he throws him out. And Barlow works around Mookie Betts and gets Freddie Freeman on a ground ball to second. Down go the Dodgers. Most of the fans are standing now as the Royals have reduced the game to one out. Up the middle, over second, and this game goes to Kansas City. A five-run first inning holds up for the Royals to beat the Dodgers.